Hello, my name is Kalisha Clark and I am a freshman at North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is my video entry for the Castle Inc. Paperless Scholarship for 2012. In this video, I'm going to share with you 15 ways that I myself and my family members reduce, reuse, or recycle. These are easy tips that you can also do. We're going to start with reducing. You can use recycled bags instead of plastic bags when you go grocery shopping. Many stores have these. This one is from Target. Walmart has them. The dollar store has them. And they're pretty affordable, normally one to two dollars. They're really big and they're really sturdy for groceries. And you can eliminate lots of plastic waste by choosing those over grocery bags. The second thing is to purchase a water bottle. This is what a water bottle looks like mine is pink and what it is is it's basically made out of recycled material and it is a filtered water bottle so you can put tap water in it and the water whenever you drink it it comes through this filter and I love my water bottle you can get them at different health stores like GNC they come in different colors and they come in different sizes um, this size was about ten dollars to purchase and the replacement filters are only seven so this is a really affordable alternative to buying a lot of plastic water bottles the next thing you can do is buy in bulk because this reduces the amount of packaging so if you have certain items that you know will you will always need or that you know you will definitely go through it's better to buy these things in bulk things like non-perishable food items and feminine products and definitely things that don't expire or that take a long time to expire. You can also go paperless which is the theme of this scholarship. Two easy ways to do that is by choosing a dish towel instead of paper towels or cloth napkins instead of paper napkins. Another way you can do it is if you have a bank account you can opt to get internet or email bank statements instead of paper bank statements so those are easy ways you can go paperless lastly you can reduce water usage um, you can do this in two different ways you can do it by making sure whenever you're running the washing machine or the dishwasher that you're running full loads and you're not just wasting the water to clean a couple of things and you can also do this by cutting down on the amount of water you use in, a in the shower you can do this by taking shorter showers and by turning the water off whenever you're shaving and that goes for men and women and you can also turn the water off whenever you're brushing your teeth or washing your face and you don't need it reuse if you don't want to get a water bottle and you prefer using plastic bottles you can reuse those you can just buy a couple different plastic water bottles and then refill them using like a Brita filter or like just drink tap water or the water from your fridge system they also have pitchers now that have a filter in them so whenever you pour the water it cycles through you can buy reusable storage bags instead of using Ziploc bags you can get sandwich wraps that are cloth and reusable sealed bags and a great place to get these are Etsy.com and you can find all kinds of different cute and sustainable reusable packaging. You can also transform your old t-shirts. You can do this by reconstructing them to fit you better or turning them into different things like purses, scarves, wall decor. You can also use storage containers instead of using aluminum foil or plastic wrap. You can get ones like these um, by Rubbermaid, two for a dollar at the dollar store. And these are quality, sturdy containers. And if you get enough of these kind of things, then you don't have to use plastic wrap to preserve your leftovers and, and things like that. Lastly, if you opt to use plastic silverware or plastic plates and cups, you can actually keep those and wash them like you would your regular dishes and use them a couple times more. I wouldn't really suggest using them a lot more just because they're not as durable as regular plates and cups and silverware, but they will last a little longer and you should definitely wash them and reuse them at least once or twice. Recycle. You can, the first way, the first thing, the first tip as far as recycling is obvious. Recycle your cans, your plastic, and your paper. And in my dorm at my and at my college, 
They really support recycling. They have recycling bins all over campus, and they have recycling bins in the room. This is what mine looks like. Um, and so it, you know, is just a big container, and it tells you on the back what kind of material you can recycle and how to recycle it, basically. You can also um, purchase recycled school supplies. I do that a lot of times. They are a little more pricey, but if you think about it, it's, it's worth it when you're saving the environment. These are just a couple of the things. This is by uh, Fine Sasquatch or Sasquatch Siding, and they have folders and binders and pencils, and this is just their pencil pouch. And this is a composition notebook that I got from Staples that the paper is actually made out of sugar cane. And it even talks about it uh, on the inside. And it says the paper is made from 80% sugar cane plant fiber waste. So this, you know, is recycled and it's good. And I have a recycled binder and recycled notebooks. Um, I normally get Staples has really awesome recycled paper for like loose leaf notebook paper so that's that's very good as well and also you can reuse some of your school supplies whenever you're changing through semesters um, just take out your papers and recycle those and reuse your binders instead of just throwing them away or leaving them laying around um, you can also recycle clothing um, instead of reconstructing it by donating it either to Goodwill to charity to a shelter or to relatives that you know that would like the clothes or you know don't mind hand-me-downs. You can recycle old material into new material and an example um, of that is this reusable bag that was given to me um, as a care package for college and this is from it was originally chicken like chicken feed and they turn it into a sturdy reusable bag with handles that I can use for groceries. I could probably fit all of my groceries in there actually. Um, and lastly, this is also something good because it could help you out, get you a little extra change in your pocket, but you can recycle copper. Um, I know that a lot of times the price for recycling copper is pretty good, so if you have copper laying around or copper wire, um, just, you know, find the closest recycling place and recycle it. Those are 15 ways that I reduce, reuse, and recycle. I encourage all of you guys to reduce, reuse, and recycle through any means that you can. It's definitely a great thing. It's good for the environment, and it's really easy to do. Thank you guys for watching.